To this now, the recently announced results of the South African 2024 elections have brought about significant changes in the political landscape. However, the focus now turns to the challenges of transforming the economy towards a path of sustainable and higher economic growth. The Don Consultancy Group has commented on these developments, highlighting the slight fragmentation of society into various interest groups based on the political parties' manifestos and messaging of the electorate. This indicates a nuanced understanding of the socio-economic and political challenges facing the South African economy and reflects the maturing of the South African democracy. Chief Economist of DCG, Chief Pipa Mohangum, provides further insights into this matter. It is obvious that the, the South African political landscape has transformed uh, based on the results of the elections which have just uh, come out uh, last week. So obviously the next step is to look at how best the country can transform its economic landscape. I think the challenges of unemployment, the challenges we are facing in terms of structural issues such as the energy uh, supply, if you look at the logistical issues on the ports, those things should also be part of the way in which we can transform the economy. So the next government uh, has got a task ahead of it in terms of how best they can look at addressing these challenges. So we are looking forward to the kind of composition of government, yes, be it coalition government or any other, other format, format of government. What we are looking for is to ensure that no, the government prioritizes the economy, it's not, no, there is job creation in the economy, uh, there is industrialization in the economy, but there is also elements of fight towards, uh, against corruption, but at the same time good governance and also looking at the issue of how best the environment can be created for the business friendly uh, elements where there can be investment in the South African economy. So it's tough times ahead, uh, but I think we are looking at it in the positive manner that no, anything is possible in this country.